In this video, we look at using an integrated development environment to develop or debug a program. So to write a computer program, you need nothing more than a basic text editor like Notepad. However, beyond writing the code, you can't do much else. For example, you won't be able to run the code as Notepad doesn't feature any inbuilt interpreters or compilers. To interpret the code of this Python program and check for errors, you would need to load a command prompt, navigate to the location of the file and run it. You would also need to manually run the compiler from a command line if you wanted to compile the file and create a Python bytecode file. Basic text editors also don't tend to include any simple tools to help you write code, such as syntax highlighting or debugging assistance. And this is where an integrated development environment or IDE comes in. An IDE is a program that provides a set of tools and related functionality designed to maximize a programmer's productivity. Since version 152, the default Python installation includes its own IDE called IDLE, and it stands for Integrated Development and Learning Environment. Completely written in Python itself, IDLE is deliberately designed to be simple and suitable for beginners, and you may already be familiar with it. Even so, it still supports many tools for writing Python programs. It has multi-window text editors, syntax highlighting, auto-completion, smart indentation, a built-in Python shell, and integrated debugging tools. Most professional programmers use a variety of more complex IDEs. Ultimately, their purpose are the same. IDEs provide a range of tools and features that help speed up and enhance program development. The IDE shown here includes hundreds of features. For the exam, you should be familiar with the most common, including code editors, error diagnostics, runtime environments, translators, auto documentation, syntax highlighting, and auto completion. Now, some of these features are self explanatory, and we've actually already covered them in the video. The ones that need a little more explanation and the ones that are actually listed in the specification, we've popped on the screen now. Pause the video and take some notes so you're familiar with some of the most common features of IDEs. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is an IDE? And how can an IDE help you produce solutions to problems?